I love you for the sake of Allah. What exactly does that mean? When you hear someone say, I love you for the sake of Allah, or when you say that to someone else, are you suggesting that you only love them for the sake of Allah? What if you also love them for something else? What if you love your, your spouse for the sake of Allah? What exactly does that entail? So the scholars say that when you say to someone, Uhibbuka fillah, I love you for the sake of Allah, which is the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as he did with Mu'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that is to say that if there was no other reason but Allah, I would love you, right? So there doesn't have to be anything else that's attached. The response to that, Ahabbika ladhi ahbabtani fi, may the one who you love me for love you back, demonstrates that the greatest reward that could come from that is not I love you too, it's that Allah responds to your love with His love subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Prophet sallallahu gave this example of a man who went out to visit a brother of his for the sake of Allah. And an angel came to him in the form of a human being and said to him, where are you going? And he said, I'm going to visit my brother for the sake of Allah. He said to him, is there anything that you want from him? Does he owe you anything? He said, no. Are you trying to get some sort of favor out of him? No. Is he a powerful man? Is he someone that owes you something? Is this to gently remind him or nudge him about something else? Is this to get in his ear so that the next time you come to him, which you've already pre-planned to be a day or two from now, you know, he would have remembered that you came to visit him. What's the purpose of your visit? And he said, لا غير أني أحببته لله. He said, the only thing is that I love him for Allah. The only reason I'm going to visit this person is that I love him for Allah. The Prophet ﷺ said that the angel responded to him and said, فَإِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكَ I am a messenger of Allah that's been sent to you to tell you that Allah loves you just as you have loved your brother for him. Allah loves you just as you have loved your brother for him. Now, the idea of this though, is when you check on someone. You know, have you ever been in a situation where you uh, love someone for Allah, but you have something else that you want from them, right? Or when you're checking up on someone, or when you're calling someone that you haven't spoken to for a long time, or visiting someone that you haven't visited for a long time, you know there is an ulterior motive, right? It's, you realized you want something, or this person, you know, is uh, in a position to benefit your worldly affairs somehow, and so you want to get in good with that person, by just making it seem like you're checking up on them, right? That would disqualify that because this has to be purely for the sake of Allah. When is the last time you called someone, you visited someone just because you love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Coming together on the love of Allah, parting from one another on the love of Allah. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that when a person goes out to visit his brother for the sake of Allah, whether he's sick or otherwise, so either visiting a sick person or visiting his brother for the sake of Allah, a caller calls out, nada munadin, an angel calls out and says, Tlipta wa taba mamshak wa tabawa'ta min al jannati manzila. Tlipta means may you find goodness, may you be purified and find goodness in your path always. So it's a very comprehensive way of praying for that person. The angel says, Tlibta. And may your steps be blessed. And this is really referring to your worldly affairs. So everything that you walk towards in regards to your worldly affairs, may those steps be blessed as well. And may you have a special station in paradise a special station of your choosing, a blessed station in paradise. And so when the angel calls out and makes that dua for you and makes that prayer for you, right? If you think about it, even if you wanted to visit someone for something else, what is it that you could possibly get from them that isn't included in the dua and the supplication that that angel just made for you, right? Just by you going only for the sake of Allah, and to establish that relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah gives you everything that you possibly could have wanted out of another motive. All through that angel that calls out and says, manzila. May you have good, may your steps be blessed, and may you have the most blessed station in paradise.